seven things to consider when shopping for wood flooring for your new home. And also, we will reveal our top two choices currently for our new home. This is part of my series, Building My Dream Home, and you are watching Smarter Real Estate Weekly on Wednesdays on YouTube and Facebook. Hi, I'm Julie Tan, Managing Broker of Lynn Realty in Houston, and I'm arming you with practical strategies to be a better seller, buyer, tenant, or landlord, and also taking you along on my real estate adventures as part of this channel. So I'm glad you're watching. You're going to learn so much today. I'm going to show you photos, give you examples, show you some samples of wood flooring, look at our current wood flooring, and so you will be kind of a mini expert by the end of this video. If you find it helpful and you like it, um, please do subscribe so that you don't miss an episode and also like my videos and please add comments. And I will give you a, um, a little bit of a request uh, toward the end of this video that I want your feedback on. So I hope to hear from all of you. Okay, just FYI, I do have a cough drop in my mouth because I had a cough and cold like a couple of weeks ago not COVID, tested negative, uh, typical cough and cold situation. So I'm just doing that so that I don't cough in the middle of this video. All right. So the first thing we look at uh, when selecting wood floors is the type of wood floor that you're looking for. So there are kind of a few general types of wood flooring. And this is a photo of actually the showroom that my husband and I went to recently to look for um, wood flooring for our new home. And um, what you're seeing here on the floor is engineered wood flooring. Um, there's also hardwood flooring, laminate, luxury vinyl plank or vinyl wood, wood looking tile. So a whole variety. I'm just going to go into each one briefly. So hardwood flooring, which is actually the flooring that was in the showroom, um, is hard, solid wood. It is actually solid wood that is installed raw. So you see it and it's kind of the color of like a pencil when you sharpen the pencil, that kind of really light raw color. And then it is stained on site. It can be re-sanded uh, multiple times and re-stained over time if you have damage to the floor or you wanna change the color. Engineered wood flooring is real wood flooring too. It's just not a solid piece, it's multiple layers. It typically comes in a box, you install it, it's already pre-stained. Um, and some of it though, including the ones that we are looking at, it actually gives you the ability, because it's a special, nicer wood flooring, to sand it down a couple of times, just like hard wood. Um, the current wood flooring that is in our home here is engineered wood flooring. This cannot be sanded down. This comes in the box, um, and it actually has a smooth, slightly, not shiny, I wouldn't say, but because it is smooth instead of matte finish, um, that's the way it is, and that's the texture, and you cannot sand it down. So if you were to replace these types of wood flooring pieces, let's say there was damage to one of them, you'd have to pop out, you know, however many panels you needed to, and then get a box of it and replace those panels. Sometimes you might damage panels next to the panel that you're trying to replace because as you're using those tools, you'll nick those next door. Um, and then you have to replace actually more panels. So it's always good to get at least one or two extra boxes of wood floors when you are going to be installing that in your home. Um, okay. And then from engineered wood flooring, you've got the completely artificial man-made flooring, like laminate, for example. Laminate tends to have a little bit more of a plastic look. Um, you know, the old school laminate, sometimes, especially when it got wet, that top layer, it would start peeling up just like paper because it really was just like a piece of paper on the top. And so it would look bad, you know. But nowadays, they make them so realistic. Um, there was some flooring in there that looked just like the engineered wood flooring. So you really couldn't tell the difference between the fake stuff and the real stuff because they make it so well. It's, the some differences are so subtle. And mainly it's just when you start to hit it with your knuckle or tap on it with your fingernail to kind of hear the sound that it makes and the feeling of it. And if you do it, especially side by side with a piece of real wood, then you can tell the difference. But otherwise, you know, it's, it's a great, you know, investment because people really can't tell. It's great for rental homes or really high traffic areas where there might be damage. Um, so you don't want to spend too much money on it. Um, with hardwood flooring, it takes a little bit more maintenance. You cannot just use any harsh chemical to clean them. Um, and it can react more to um, harsher temperatures and uh, big temperature fluctuations, like if it's freezing and you lose power versus if it gets really hot and it's humid, for example. So nowadays, engineered flooring is really uh, the most popular one, even in higher end homes that used to just do all hardwood because people want that durability, that a little bit of an easier maintenance, and just um, not re so reactive to temperatures and weather conditions and humidity. 
Now, um, with luxury vinyl plank or vinyl wood flooring, that is a little bit of a softer feel than the laminate. Laminate's a little bit more hard or plasticky. And the luxury vinyl or vinyl wood um, is good for, say, putting on the second floor or sometimes in condos if you're a second floor unit and you don't want footsteps to be so loud to disturb the neighbor downstairs. We've used it in some of our rental homes as well as the laminate wood. And we've also used wood looking tile. So it's actually ceramic or porcelain tile, very hard, uh, feels like tile when you step on it, has that cold um, temperature feel to it. And um, it's very durable, just like tile. So you can mop it, you can drop things on it. It pretty much is almost indestructible. So that's great for rental homes too, or in areas like a mud room or something like that, where you're going to have heavier traffic, dirty shoes, perhaps rougher things, you know, touching the floor. Okay. Now for our new home, we're going to have the engineered wood flooring throughout the entire first floor, even in so-called wet areas like the uh, powder bath or the kitchen, the bar uh, slash butler's pantry and the uh, mudroom. And then up the stairs will be solid hard wood. So those steps that you uh, step on uh, are going to be installed raw and then stained on site. And then upstairs, we're going to have wood in kind of the common areas like the game room, the hallways, the closets in the hallways, and the bedrooms will have carpet. Sorry, I'm crunching my, <laughs> I'm getting to the tail end of this cough drop. And then we'll have tile in the upstairs baths and the laundry room. Okay, let's move on to the next category, number two, which is wood species. I'm going to just flip really quickly um, to this picture right here. This shows you before the wood is stained, when it's kind of in its raw state, um, what some of the different wood species look like in terms of the color and also the pattern. So if you think about all the different types of trees, you know, like you have oak, right? But even within the category of oak, you've got red oak. This is another red oak down here, which you can see the hints of kind of that pinkish red tone. And then you have white oak, um, which there's not one that's called white oak on here, but there's European white oak, which comes in you know these two different shades here. And then you've got walnut. Um, for our home, we have honed into the European white oak. And when it's more white, um, not as much of that tone to it, got good um, grain in it, uh, good pattern and all of that. But yes, you can see kind of what this looks like. Um, there, of course, is difference in you know, sort of how hard the wood is, how it feels, uh, the grain. I wish I could remember, but I feel like these are hickory that we installed. Our home is 10 years old. We built it brand new. And um, this is now outdated. This is sort of a medium to dark brown color. And um, it's hand scraped. So that's, that's still something that people like. But that was sort of really, really in about 10 years ago, even up to, you know, um, several years ago, you know, more recently than that. And um, anyway, but, you know, this is kind of that slightly more traditional look. It's not super traditional, like the really older flooring that, you know, was in the 19, you know, 50s up to, you know, 2000, roughly, where it was that kind of more yellow toned, you know, wood floor, thinner panels, not like that. This is, you know, a little bit wider. But nowadays, the planks are even wider than this. Okay, um, you've got maple, uh, birch, or some, and then of course some other types of wood floors as well. So in that uh, vein, we'll talk about number three. Is the next one is grain or pattern. So a classic type of wood like maple will tend to not have as many lines, and that like if you imagine a tree trunk, you know, and all that grain in it, and those knots, like those little circles that you'll see. And so it's a little bit of a, of a cleaner look. So if you go for that kind of classic look, that might be good. Um, of course, you could go anywhere in between that and a more grain, lots of grain, you know, or something in the middle. Okay, number four is going to be your texture or your sheen. So we looked at here, this wood floor, which is smoother. It's um, a little bit of a shinier finish. And then you have something that's more of a matte finish. So Let's take you back as we were looking here. These are all very matte finish wood pieces. And if I bump up over here, there's my husband making a silly face, <laughs> caught in mid laughter there. Um, you can see that most of these nowadays are not shiny. Um, they're really a matte finish. People like kind of that rustic look. Um, it doesn't have to be super rustic, right? Some of them, uh, not the ones in the shot that you see here, but there were some pieces in there that were extremely rough. Some of them are reclaimed wood. Um, like, you know, you imagine getting it from like a barn house or something like that. Um, and so it really gives you that kind of farmhouse, really rustic look. 
And, um, you know, there's a warmth to that that some people really like. Not our style exactly. We just want matte but still smooth to the touch so that we're not, like, you know, getting splinters and things like that. Okay. Let's see here. All right. So I'm going to reveal a little bit while I talk about um, some of our next categories here. Dimension. Okay. So dimension is talking about width, length, and then the depth or the thickness. So the width of wood floor panels, typically, you know, your average ones are like three to six inches wide. Um, but for example, this piece is seven and a half inches wide. This is the back side of it. So I'll show you the color in just a second. Um, and then, you know, so the luxury ones will tend to be between like six to eight inches, you know, even a little bit wider. And when you're talking about length, so some wood flooring is where every piece in the box comes in the exact same length. It's uniform. And so they can lay it down in sort of a brick pattern like this, you know, where you've got a seam here, a seam there to add more visual interest. Um, there is also like herringbone pattern, for example. So there's different ways to lay the wood. But there are also boxes that have variable lengths. So for example, the ones that we're considering, um, they start from one feet and they go all the way up to like seven feet. Um, so that creates a lot of interest too, because you have varying lengths. So everything is just kind of, you know, I don't know, I would call it almost like abstract. And so um, that just creates a really nice look. And then of course the thickness, um, the thicker it is, it just gives you more layers that you can sand down, you know, more times. Most people don't really take the time to do that, um, but that's just an option. Okay, number six is talking about the edges, okay? So clean and straight edges versus kind of your rougher edges. Ta-da! So here's a straight edge. Okay, hold on, Shay. <laughs> that's what we get from, for uh, shooting at home. Also clean, straight edge. Um, some edges have a little bit more roughness and texture to them. So it gives you that more vintage antique look. So you have to see what you like and what you want. Okay, and the final thing is going to be color, number seven. So everything varying from light to dark. And then also some uh, types of wood will have variations in color within that very box. So here is one of the two colors we are considering. This is the lighter of the two. This is called Valley. And you can see how there's lighter ones, sort of like a medium, and then a little bit darker. Now, it's all relative. When I say dark, this is not dark at all, okay? Like even this wood floor that's in the showroom that this sample piece is sitting on top of is sort of like, mm, you know, a, a medium-ish, you know, it depends on the lighting. But dark, I mean, like our wood floor right here is definitely much darker than this. But I'm just saying dark relative to these lighter pieces. So th these are the, there are some darker pieces among this box, but overall, it's a very whitewashed, light look. And here's the other one. This one is called Stone. So when you see this one right after the previous one, this appears to be very dark. But again, this is like the second lightest color they have in their collection on the floor. And here it is here. So you can see how much lighter this one is than our current wood floor and how much even lighter this one is than our current wood floor. Our rug is white with gray. And so you can see how it compares, you know, to a very light color. Okay, um, let's see what else. These are showing you side by side. It's really important to look at your samples in different types of lighting. If you have it under fluorescent lighting, which is what they had in the showroom, it, the colors look so very different. Um, in fact, this light one almost had like a pinkish tone to it. So I didn't like it when I saw it in the showroom. We brought it out to the stairs. Um, you can see with the sunlight coming in from the window and the light overhead, but a lot more natural light, how much, you know, brighter, lighter, really more accurate um, the color is there. We looked at that. Uh, final thing I want to mention is, is this. So on the stairs, right, these are the treads, the wood where you step on. The painted white uh, part is called the risers. The edges are something you need to consider. This is a straight or squared off edge. So, you know, it, it looks more modern. But of course, when you step on it, if you step kind of in the wrong way and go a little bit over, it can maybe hurt your foot. Um, there is also a rounded bull-nosed edge, and that's going to be less modern. Feel a little bit better if you step on it and your foot kind of hits the edge and comes off of it a little bit. It wouldn't hurt so much. Um, and so, you know, price comparison, pretty similar there, but it's just a decision that you have to make. Um, in terms of what your preference is. So uh, that is it for the lesson. And here's where you come in is, what do you think between these two colors? Our interior designer says that this 
is more trendy and can go out of style maybe, you know, in several years or something. It's, it's been really popular in the last few years. Um, and then this is a little bit more timeless. Um, it is not super trendy, but it is a color that we haven't seen until recent few years. So it obviously is on trend, but it's just because it's just that right tone, the color that it could, um, you know, just be around for many years to come. But of course, this is a really nice light look and it, it just makes your home look brighter and lighter. Um, the salesperson in the showroom really likes this one. This is a more popular color. So you've got some conflicting, you know, not really conflicting opinions, but, you know, different ways to look at it and um, what we would select. Really, either one would match um, a lot of different things. You can't go wrong with either one, but I'm just curious to what you guys think. So definitely write a comment or send me a message and let me know. And I do want to thank you so much for watching and um, for coming into my home as I'm coming into yours or wherever you are watching this video. And stay tuned for many more videos as I go through various different selections. I'll be going over plumbing fixtures soon, like faucets and shower heads and fun stuff like that. And then, of course, uh, countertops and other types of flooring that we're going to be selecting for our home, like tile and carpet um, and more fun stuff. Cabinets, there's just so much more to select. Uh, and then so in the coming uh, several months, we'll be going over all of that. And of course, other real estate topics not related to building my dream home. All right. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you have a great week.